Hi booktube, welcome back to my channel, Book Chat, hosted by I Love to Read. So yes, this is an impromptu um, book haul. So quick story, my mom and I went to Barnes and Nobles because I just wanted to, we're going to take a road trip. And so online, blah, 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 blah. So now we're... I don't want to waste your time, but we're on. So anyway, we're at book. We're at Barnes and Noble, and so I found um one book. The other ones I think I'm gonna have to order on Amazon because I don't want to pay that much. I mean, it's really Amazon had it cheaper, but I didn't see this one. So we're on a Route 66, America's longest small town. 2,451 miles by Jim Hinckley. So we're going to. Yes, take a um, road trip. Can't wait. Oh, I'm so excited. I wanted to do it before. So, here's the pictures. This is what I originally went in there to get. So, New Mexico. And we do want to drive the entire way, starting from home. Um, I don't live in the city in Chicago, but in the suburbs, but that's where Route 66 starts here, and it ends in L.A., so that's where I want to go, and I have a, a childhood friend, best friend from high school who lives there, so I'm going to let her know I'm on my way, if she stumbles across this video, I'm on my way, <laughs> yeah, so... Okay, sorry, that was weird. So, yes, now I am also interested in the Holocaust and um, I've always been just because of the treatment of people and my background being psychology and sociology. Um, you know, I just, I don't understand people, but I've always been fascinated with this and people also not believing that the Holocaust took place, which is so weird. I don't understand that. But anyway, we have Hitler, the man and the monster. So and here's the back cover. It's by Michael Kerrigan. I didn't pay this price though. Um, because it was I don't remember if it was half price or what, off the markdown price. But there we go. And the book's the same here. And then, the same and I take it this is this nutcase's signature but it's uh an illust just different pictures and storyline so I also have another which I think I showed that but but anyway that's it there and I have the Accursed Joyce Carol Oates novel. Um, oh, Steve, I forgot that. Stephen King had given a book review on that. Feverishly entertaining. Oates' hypnotic prose has never been better displayed. You should read it. I'll do that again. Sorry. No, I won't. Anyway, there you go. So, um, yeah. So I only went in for that one and walked up more. I'll take you there novel by Wally Lamb and it's signed. Um, I don't know what it's, I did look to see what it's about. Um, but now I don't remember. So and I don't want to remember because I'm going to go into that blind. The Land of Stories Beyond the Kingdom by, uh, what's his name? Chris, Chris Colfer from Glee. I don't know, it was cute, you know, it was, it's a bargain book. So, the back of it reads, if I assist you further in your quest, could it get me a heart faster? The Tin Men said, if I understand, it's um like you're meeting all these different characters. You're meeting the Tin Man, Mother Goose, um, probably going to, yeah, you're meeting all people. You see, there's... Robin Hood here, Merlin there, I can't remember what they said, oh, 
Captain Hook and Peter Pan. I remember talk about it. He was on this book four. He was on um, the Today Show talked about his books before. So whatever. I just got it. It was cute. Now, here's one that, oh my gosh, I just, Emily Dickinson love poems. In this short life that only lasts an hour. What is this? In this short life that only merely lasts an hour. How much, how little is within our power? So this says that these, this book is um, published fewer than a dozen of 1,800 poems, preferred not to, blah, 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 blah. Um, these are some of her books that they, her poems that they found, um, a makeshift and fragile manuscript of Dickinson's later writings. We find her envelope poems. So anyway, can you see that? Because I don't think I even showed it. I don't want to open it up all the way yet till I really get to read it. Oh, you guys like that when you have a book and it's brand new because it was sealed and they let me open it so I could see what it looked like inside and then I bought it. But you ever like that where the book is so new you don't even want to crack it yet until you, you're ready to read it? That's how I feel. It hasn't been. I was the first person to open it and I don't see it came in. I don't want to open it. But oh my gosh. Um, maybe I'll read a little. I won't open all the way yet because I'm not reading for myself. Great, a great hope fell. You heard no noise crash. The ruin was havoc, but then damage. No cunning wreck that told no tale and lit no witness in. The mind was built for mighty freight, for dread occasion planned. How often foundering at sea. Anyway, there we go. So, thank you guys. This went longer also than I wanted it to. Oh, oh, almost forgot. I bought socks, out of print socks. So, the banned books. I got one for my mom too. I've always wanted one of these. Oh, Miss, I didn't know that. Missed match pair. I didn't pay attention. Now that makes it even more awesome. So they got the socks blocked, but then you got the socks that Song of Solomon was banned. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Did anybody else know? That? I didn't know that. I don't remember knowing it. <laughs> there we go. All right. So I want to do this right. Thank you guys. This dang it, I hate when I go longer. All right. Thank you so much. Have a great day and happy reading. Be blessed. Stay warm. Thanks for coming to my channel, Book Chat, hosted by I Love to Read. Have a blessed day. I do have a thank you. I was going to say, I do have more bookshelves, but it's the only one I could get in for where I'm at. Bye. Thank you.